Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 18 play review on my channel. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to be reviewing 85 rated Inform Douglas Costa. Now, I was very excited when I saw this card released, just because he's one of my favourite five-star skillers this year. Um, especially around the start of FIFA 18, I use this card quite a lot. And now we are looking at his stats, you can see he's got some really nice stats in 95 pace, 90 dribbling, 80 shooting, 84 passing. And then looking at some of his in-game stats, he's got insane acceleration, insane long shots, and really good dribbling. And those are the three things I love in a play in FIFA 18. So guys, this has been the in-game stats, now let's get into the highlights. So now moving into the first pro for Inform Douglas Costa, and that is his pace, and this is, you know, pretty self-explanatory. Just from looking at his card, you'll realise that this guy has absolutely insane pass, and one of his key stats is that 99 acceleration. The next pro I could find after that was his dribbling, and as you'll see from these clips, he is so, so good at dribbling. He has a really unique skilling um, and dribbling style, as you will tell from the clips. You know, keeps it just so close to his feet. Um, he sort of goes for like a weird slanted dribble, I think. It's hard to like explain, but he has his body over the ball um, when performing skill moves. What makes it look pretty cool and very unique to um, Douglas Costa's dribbling style. And then moving on to the final pro I could find with Douglas Costa, and that was his long shots. Now this guy has absolutely insane long shots, and you also see a few examples of that in these highlights. Now as you can see here, we get a really nice score run, we run through on goal, and nearly finish it off there, but is unable to finish it. Um, so now moving into the cons, the first con I could find with this card was his strength. Now this guy is not the weakest of players, but he still is a pretty weak player so he will get pushed off the ball quite a lot of the time but sometimes on the odd occasion he can hold his own weight and then moving on to the final con now what is his work rate so now this guy only has medium low work rate so it does affect his positioning quite a lot and you can definitely tell this especially when you're playing more of an attacking role I played him in the left forward position and the left wing and he seemed to drop to like the left mid position what can be a bit annoying um, especially you know when you want to counter attack this guy is Looking at his card stats, he has a really good counter-attack card, um, but you can't really use him for that just because his positioning is so bad. So guys, this has been the highlights, now let's move into the overview. So now moving into the overview for Inform Douglas Costa, for a value of coins I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. Now the reason it isn't any higher is just because he's going for around 80,000 coins and I do feel like you can get much better players or players at the same level just for uh, much cheaper, you know, such as Martial. But I think the thing that makes him, you know, very unique is he does have the 5 star skill moves and he's from the Calcio A and he's also Brazilian so you don't even need to use him in a Calcio A squad, you could use him in your Brazilian squad. Enjoyment wise I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10, competitiveness wise I'm also going to give him an 8 out of 10 and the reason it's just because of those work rates it really lets him down um, if not he'd probably be a 9 out of 10 skilling wise he's pretty good I'm going to give him an 8.5 out of 10 and then I'm going to give him an overall rating of an 8 out of 10 so guys if you have enjoyed this video and want to see more FIFA 18 player reviews on my channel don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe thanks for watching and see you next time